Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I will be vlogging what I read for the weekend and I hope some people are joining in for the page count challenge. Starting off this morning, it is about 9 a.m. on Friday morning. I will be picking up my Max Lucado Grace. A devotional and I am hoping to finish it because uh, okay that doesn't show you but there's only one chapter left and then after that there's like the study guide but I won't be doing that so there's only like about a chapter left before finishing this book for me so um, hopefully I'll be able to finish that before I start work because I start work a little bit later today, so I decided to start my reading vlog for the, the whole weekend, starting Friday. Um, last time I was so close to getting a thousand pages read um, Saturday and Sunday, so hopefully there should be no problem if I'm adding Friday. Um, but I do have double work today, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. But it should work, so I'll start off with this and we'll see where I go from there. So I just finished reading my devotional of Max Lucado Grace and I really loved this book. Um, I think I love all of his books but I'm giving this one five stars. I really did enjoy it and I will be continuing reading for a little bit before I start work and I will be continuing um, The Babysitter's Club, Christy and the Snobs, the graphic novel. And I started this one um, last night. Um, so I will, I just started a little bit though. I will be continuing this and seeing how far I go. So I read 36 pages of Christy and the Snobs. And uh, I'm really enjoying this book. I think it's going to be five stars like all the other books in the series. Um, so not the best start to the morning. Uh, I haven't read that much. But well, I've read a lot, but um, not that many pages. But I did also have to have breakfast and get ready for work. So um, not too bad overall. And I will be heading off to work now. It's about 1030. And I will be choosing an audiobook in the car, so I will update you when I pick a book that I'm going to read. So I'm heading off to work, and I chose um, True Vine by Andrew Murray to listen to while I'm driving. So that's what I'm going to be um, reading for a little bit, and then I will update you if I read anything uh, during work. <laughs> So I'm at work, but nobody's here yet. Um, the little one is at an appointment. So I will be continuing reading, I guess, for a little bit until they get back. Um, sometimes nanny life has its perks. And I will be finishing Murder, She Wrote. Um, I think the title is Dying to Retire, yes. And I am almost done that book. I have kind of calculated it and it's roughly like 43 pages left um, so because I don't have a physical copy so I will just be finishing that up and uh, playing on my phone a little bit and I'll update you once I finish the book. So it's about 11.30 and I'm still chilling by myself um, so I just finished reading Murder, She Wrote, Dying to Retire and I'm giving it five stars. I really am enjoying this series so far. I am not reading them in the correct order. There are like a lot. I think there's like 52 by now because the author has just been um, writing these books for like a couple of decades, I believe now. And uh, anyways, so I have some are available on the audio. Uh, the <laughs> I don't know why I have a trouble saying that every time. The audiobooks on Audible, <laughs> um, so in the free catalog, so I will be reading uh, or listening to those ones. And I did find a slew of them at the thrift store, um, so I will be reading those as well in physical copies, so they are out of order, but the series doesn't really um, follow, I don't think, very much. I mean, you see some of the characters throughout the series, but 
Um, you don't need to read them in order, I don't think. I think maybe in one of them um, she gets remarried, but I'm not sure. So um, anyways, I don't think it really matters. The individual books just have a different um, murder that she is trying to solve. And for anybody who doesn't know about this series, it's an elderly lady and she um, is a writer and she just writes about all the different murders that she solves. And it is a cozy mystery series, so no sex and very little swearing, um, maybe just like one or two in each book and it's pretty mild. Um, so that's great and I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, so I finished that. And now because apparently I'm still not really required to work, um, I will be picking up another audiobook and I will be reading um, the last book in the Nancy Springer series that I've been reading and that one is uh, Rowan, Rowan Hood Returns. So I will be reading that and chilling out I guess a little bit more and I will see if I finish that today. So I am back home already, had a really short work day, um, which is not usual for me. Usually I'm at work for like 10 hours straight, um, but once in a while I have shorter days when um, the parents can take care of the kid for a little bit. So she had a play date, so I just stayed for lunch and nap time. And during her nap, I finished my audiobook of um, Nancy Springer audiobook and now I'm back home for a little bit before I go to um, my babysitting job tonight so quite fitting I will try and finish um, the babysitters club Christy and the snobs and uh, yeah so I'll see if I can finish that before I have to leave in about half an hour so um, yeah <laughs> we'll see how it goes so I'm on the road again, um, heading off to my job this evening, and I didn't quite finish um, Christy and the Snobs yet, but I will probably be continuing that one um, as soon as the kids are in bed this evening. Um, so I will just update the page count then. And while I'm driving, I will be listening to True Vine and I will be adding that to my page count um, when I finish the book because I'm probably going to end up finishing it rather quickly. So I will be adding that one at the end when I finish it. And I forgot to mention before, um, for the Nancy Springer book that I finished, uh, I'm giving it three stars. It wasn't the best. Um, the other books in the series were a lot more interesting in my opinion, and I kind of felt like this one, it was just a little redundant. Um, but, uh, yeah, I overall enjoyed the series and I am going to be trying her other series that I had started. Um, I forget what it's called, the Enola Holmes. I believe it's by the same author and I've read the first two books of that. So I will be continuing that series eventually as well. So yeah, just a quick update. I'm going to be going to work now, so I will see you in a little bit. So I just got back from work and it is about 10.30 and I didn't read that much. Um, I read a little bit more of my Babysitter's Club book um, and I did also finish my audiobook, True Vine. So I will be including that now to my total for today. And yeah, so I will just be relaxing a little bit before bed and I will definitely be finishing um, Christy and the Snobs. There is only like a little bit left, like a couple of chapters, if that. So I will definitely be finishing that tonight. And maybe I'll read a little bit more after that, but i um, getting quite tired, so we will see. But I will definitely update one more time for today. I just finished reading Christy and the Snobs, and I really did enjoy it. I'm going to give it five stars. I've really been enjoying the graphic novels of the Babysitter's Club. And uh, this one was um, surprisingly sadder than 
I was expecting. I wasn't expecting that, that um, something happens in the book that's a little bit sad. And I don't remember um, reading that from the original series, um, but uh, it was a great book and I definitely will be continuing that series. So that puts me at a little bit over 400 pages for today and I'm gonna just head to bed now and I will let you know in the morning what I decide to read. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's Saturday, day two of the page count challenge and um, yesterday I forgot to mention that the audiobook True Vine that I finished, I'm giving five stars. I don't know why yesterday I kept forgetting to mention how many stars I was giving the books, but uh, yeah, I'm going to give it five stars. I really did enjoy it. And this morning I'm going to be starting off nice and easy and reading um, Kitty and the Treetop Chase. So these books are really cute. I love the illustrations. Um, they've always been five stars so far for me. This is book four. Um, I'm not sure if I've read all of them in the correct order, but it doesn't really matter. The, the story doesn't really follow like that. Um, I mean the series. And yes, I'll read that and update in a little bit. I do have a lot of things around the house that I have to do this weekend, so... Um, it'll be a little bit choppier because um, I have to stop and go, stop and go instead of um, just reading for a long time like I do some weekends. And if you're new to my channel, I do read a lot of middle grade books. I don't read um, secular fiction because there's a lot of swearing and sex and blaspheming. Um, so I basically just read um, nonfiction, some secular nonfiction and Christian nonfiction and Christian fiction <laughs> and middle grade books, comics, mangas, and that. Um, so yeah, you, that's what why you're seeing a lot of middle grade as well. I do read some cozy mysteries though, like the uh, Murder She Wrote series. If it's clean, I do read some cozy mysteries as well. And yeah, so I will start with that and I'll update you in a little bit. So I just finished reading Kitty in the Treetop Chase, and I really loved this book. I'm giving it five stars. It's such a cute um, series, and the illustrations are just really so gorgeous. I really um, enjoy reading these, and I think there are two more in the series that I haven't read, but I don't think I have any more, so um, yeah. <laughs> But if I ever find them again, I usually get them at Book Outlet. So if I find them again, I would definitely complete that series. And now I will be picking up, um, this is Beyond the Spiderwick Chronicles, um, book one, The Nixie Song. So I don't really know anything about this series. I found it at a thrift store, um, but I read the Spider Spiderwick Chronicles. Yeah, the Spiderwick Chronicles, and I think I gave like most of the books four or five stars. Um, well, I think most five stars and a few four stars. So I really did like that that series. So I will be um, trying that and seeing if I like it. And hopefully, I will finish that one today as well um, before starting another book. So stay tuned. So I did get a little bit more reading done. I did read a bit of Beyond the Spiderwick Chronicles, um, the Nixie's, the Nixie's song, and um, so far I'm quite enjoying this book. It's a little bit different and um, very like fantasy, so <laughs> I I do read quite a bit of fantasy while well, in middle grade, um, but so far I'm really liking this book. And I'm just, um, I was reading it and then I kind of wanted something different for a little bit. So I picked up um, Young Ken Jansen and the Missing Cookie. So this, I'm, I'm not including this in my, my goals at all for today. 
Um, but I, I found it at Book Outlet and I love the original series. So I wanted to give this one a try. And I would definitely like to bring this to one of my works and try reading it with the kids because I think that they would really like it. It's um, a young reader's book and it's really cute. So uh, I'm glad I looked at that today, but I won't be including it. And then I picked up Bad Kitty for President. Um, so I read this and yeah, that I'm giving um, like three stars. It was okay, it was cute, but um, not really four star or five star material. Um, but I did enjoy it. It was, it was cute. It was funny. So I will be adding that to my total too. And for this evening, I'm not sure what I'm going to pick up. Um, I'm kind of going between three different books. <laughs> so I'm not sure which one I will pick up, but I will come on a final time for this evening and update you on what I ended up reading. So I read just a little bit more of the Spiderwick Chronicles and I'm really tired so I'll be heading to bed but I was able to hop on and do some reading sprints over at um, Reese's channel. I forget her channel name, I just found her tonight so I will link her channel below so you can go check her out too. I believe she is a Christian booktuber as well. So that is nice to um, share each other's channels and hopefully get some views for each other. And yeah, so um, I did read quite a bit today. I'm, I'm happy with the amount that I read and I think I will be reaching my goal tomorrow um, because I have less things to do tomorrow and I will have more time to read. So. That's nice, and uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is Sunday morning, and I will be reading a little bit before I kind of get started with my day. And I will be reading um, Nancy Drew Notebook's The Chinese New Year Mystery. So I will be reading that. Then I will get back to you to see if I finish it or if I'm reading something else later. So I finished my Nancy Drew book and I will be giving this one um, four stars. I quite enjoyed it. It was a great uh, mystery and I felt there was a lot to learn in this book um, because it talked a lot about the Chinese New Year. So a lot of information kids can learn about the holiday as well. And now I will be trying to finish my Spiderwick Chronicles book and see if I can finish that today as well. So I finished reading Spiderwick Chronicles, um, the Nixie song, and I will be giving this book four stars. I quite enjoyed it and I would definitely continue the series if I could find the other two books in the series. Um, it was a really fun um, fantasy middle grade book and I enjoyed reading it. And after that, I picked up the um, best babysitters ever. Oops. Um, so yeah, I read a little bit of this one so far and uh, I didn't get very many pages in, maybe like um, 12 pages in, um, but I will be continuing that tonight and seeing if I could reach my goal. I can't believe that I'm so close, but I have not, I haven't made it yet. Um, I might need to pick up something a little bit, um, quicker because this book, while it is middle grade, there are, um, a lot of words per page. So, and it's quite thick. I mean, it's thicker. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I might pick up something quick to get to that page count. We will see and I will update you in a little bit. So last update for this reading vlog, I reached a thousand pages. Um, super excited about that. I just did some live reading sprints on YouTube 
and kind of like the first time where people actually showed up so that was super exciting and I was able to read some of the best babysitters or best babysitters ever um, and I'm quite enjoying this book so far so I read some of that during the sprints and I've reached a thousand pages so I will be reading like a little bit more tonight but I won't be including it in the video um, because I've reached a thousand pages and I'm very excited about that. It was great um, to read so many different books this weekend and even though I, I, I was quite busy I, I was surprised that I still made my goal because I was busy Saturday and I was busy Sunday today um, but I guess it really helped getting that big head start on Friday when I turned out to like not have to work very much which was a nice surprise and um yeah so I'm really enjoying this book so far I hadn't um I hadn't picked it up for a while like I had bought it a while ago and never read it and I um somebody told me to pick this one up tonight like they chose it so I had to read that one and I'm really liking it so far it's really funny Definitely, if you're a babysitter or you've done babysitting, it's really cute and really funny so far. Um, and it's a series, apparently, so, um, oh, my bookmark just fell out. That's unfortunate. Um, the, it shows two other books on the back, so um, definitely we'll be checking that out if it continues to be good. The only thing that I would say is one of the characters has a mom that's kind of like into um new new age stuff i don't know if it's still called new age stuff but like um you know like uh reading tarot cards and all that um so um i'm not sure if that's going to take a big part of the book or if it's just going to be like a little bit like it was so far um so i'm hoping for a great series a great book and i'm hoping that it'll be five stars but um, I'm not gonna obviously finish it during this sprint, um, during this reading challenge on this blog. So I will leave it at that and you can follow my channel to see what my final thoughts will be on this book. So thanks so much for being here and let me know if you participated and you chose a number to read um, of books, a, a number of pages to read this weekend and let me know or or let me know what you've been reading recently i'd love to hear i'm always looking for new recommendations so thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye